Hi guys, my name is Angela Perez and today I'm going to be showing you a video tutorial on how to add makeup in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is um, the same I wanted to add some eyeshadow. I will go to my layer palette over here and I will go to my adjustment layers and I will select a hue and saturation. I will click um, colorize like there and then I will select a color so let's say I want um, this blue saturate it go and go back to my layer palette <clears throat> I will create um, a black mask there's already a mask on there so I'm gonna just hit control I to fill that mask with black now, with the white brush set to 100% opacity, I'm going to paint that color in. There you go. And you can leave it to normal, or you can blend it to multiply, or to soft light, or to overlay. It all just depends on what you want to do, on what effect um, you like best. Then I'm going to go to mask with my mask selected. I'm going to go to mask and I'm going to feather my selection. Just to make it look more natural, of course, right? There we go. we go and now we've added a nice um blue eyeshadow on there all right that was pretty easy right All right, uh, let's say I wanted to add um, a couple of eyelashes. I will make a blank layer. I'm going to name these eyelashes. There you go. I'm going to zoom in here. Oh, nice. And uh, you can do this with a brush or you can do this with a smudge tool. Either one works fine. The smudge tool, what it does is just grabs the tone that is already there and it pushes it. With the brush tool, um, you just grab any any color you want and you paint on with it. For this, I'm using my pen. I want to make sure that my brush um, settings are say, set to shape dynamics, and my transfer um, my pen pressure is off because I want a a hard 100% opacity brush. So pen pressure, perfect. This is gonna give me um, a thinner tip. Because the eyelashes are fatter in the beginning and then they get thinner towards the end. So if I wanted to push with the smudge tool, I want to make sure the strength is 100% opacity, sample all layers. And then I would just push that out. Making sure. Push it out. There you go. And you can make the ones that are already there longer All right, let's say you wanted to do it with the brush, same thing. 
shape dynamics set right there you make oops, you make sure that when you select your color you grab um from a tone that's already on the on one of the eyelashes there you go make a really tiny brush and you paint in your eyelashes like so um, when doing your eyelashes, you can don't be afraid to crisscross them because eyelashes do not fall perfectly, and they do crisscross in real life. Then I'm just gonna trim my edges with a soft um, brush, eraser brush. No. I'm also going to um, blur them a bit. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to add some noise first. I'm going to add noise, um, 2%. I'm going to add up noise. And I'm going to hit OK. And then filter. And then I'm blurring them a little bit so that they match the eyelashes that, her original eyelashes. There you go. So you made her eyelashes just a little bit fuller. It's nothing over the top, um, but you can also you can make this extravagant if you want it. You know, it's just all according um, to your taste. So you just make them a little bit fuller. After, before, after. Okay, let's say you wanted to do some texture on her lips and some color. Let's say you only wanted to do color, you can do exactly the same thing I did before for the eyeshadow just on the lips. But you say you want a texture on your lips and color. I'm gonna go to filter. I'm not filter, sorry. I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna open a file. I'm gonna try to um, Find a photograph that has the type of texture I want. It could be a photograph of glitter or sand, um, any texture photo, really. So I'm going to use this um, glittery texture here. And I'm going to put it on my, on my model's lip. I think the size of, of the texture is perfect for this size, but you can always make it bigger or smaller according to your taste. I'm going to duplicate this um, layer of texture by hitting Control J. I'm going to go name this texture. And I'm naming the layer one copy texture one. Here we go. I'm going to go to filter, other, high pass, and I'm going to see how much of the texture I need, um, what radius do I need for my blurring. To do that, I go to high pass and it will allow me to see um, what radius I will need to use. In this case, I want a, a pretty big texture so um, about 9.5 seems okay. I am not, I'm gonna take a step back for that. I'm not gonna do it on the high pass. That's just to see it. So I'm going to close the high pass and go without doing it, without applying that effect. I just wanted to see how much I needed for the radius. Now I'm gonna go back to texture and I'm going to go to filter, um, blur, gush and blur. And remember that 9.5 radius that we um, saw for the high pass? I'm going to put that radius onto my blur, 9.5 pixels. I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'll go to texture one and hit image, apply image. And I'm gonna select texture, which was the first one, the one that was blur. I'm gonna select that layer which is the layer that's right underneath texture one. I'm gonna hit um, select blending mode, subtract, um, scale two offset 128, and I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna blend this linear light. 
Now I'm going to grab this texture, the, first, the one that's under texture one, and I'm going to drag it to the trash bin because I don't need it no more. Now we can see the texture right there. Um, right now the texture is kind of invisible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colorize this. To colorize this is really easy. All I do is image adjustment, human saturation. I hit colorize, go, and then I select the color that I want to colorize it to. Say we want um, purple lip. Here we go. And now I'm going to hit uh, my mask here to make a mask of this. And control I to hide our effect. I'm going to select a brush to white, 100% opacity. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to paint this. You see the texture on her lips. This technique I learned from a good friend. Her name is Natalia Tafarel. She has a DVD out that you can't buy that shows you all of this. Um, and I totally recommend it. So I give her credit for this, for showing me how to do it. There we go. And then I'm going to select the uh, black brush. I'm going to select black and my opacity, I'm going to lower it. And I'm also my hardness, I'm going to lower it and I'm going to, um, Deselect a little bit from the middle of the mouth because you want it for it to look a little bit um, realistic. And usually lipstick doesn't go all the way inside the mouth like that or on the corners either. And there you have it. The um, lipstick. You gotta look at it closer so that you can see the effect. Is that like that? Okay, let's say you wanted to add a blush. This is also another way to add um, makeup. For this, I make a blank layer. I select a, um, a brown tone. Let's say that I wanted to add blush, so I'll get like a pinkish tone. This instance, maybe more like a coral. And then I select my brush.
I'm going to fill this with this color. So I'm going to go edit, fill, and I'm going to select um, foreground color. I'm going to hit OK. So that's my color right there. I'm going to make a mask and I'm going to hit Control I to um, unreveal the stuff that I have to hide it. Now with a white brush, I will paint this color in to her cheeks. I make sure that I have this set to pen pressure right there and that um, I'm going to put my opacity 75 because I don't want it I'm super strong. And then my hardness completely soft. And you add that back right there to her cheeks. I'm sorry, she looks like a like a street walker. <laughs> all right then. Um, with all this makeup on. Now, what I'm going to do with this is, again, I'm going to go to the mask and I'm going to feather this effect. as much as possible. There we go. And I'm going to go to this back to this layer and I'm the blend mode um, soft light or overlay. But soft light um, seems to be the nicest one to me. Or even multiply. There we go. And then you can make the effect um, not as strong by lowering the opacity. And with a black brush, I'm going to um, erase the effect from the black brush. I'm going to erase the effect from the areas that it might have fell outside the skin. Make sure it's at 100% opacity. And there you have it. Let's spray that a little bit more. You bet it, um, fake makeup and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.